right, today in geometry we're going to look at um, how to find what's called an apothem. All right, so first the diagram shows a regular polygon inscribed in a circle. The center of the polygon and the radius of the polygon are the center and radius of its circumscribed circle. The distance from the center to any midpoint of a side of a polygon is called the apothem of the polygon. The apothem is the height of an isosceles triangle that has two radii as legs. So in this picture, let's go ahead and label what we know. Okay? Um, and since our apothem is our height, your apothem is always going to be perpendicular to the side. Okay? So we can put that on there. Apothem be perpendicular to the side. So let's go ahead and in this picture, we'll label what the center is. So the center is point A. Okay. Radius, we have two drawn. We have radius AB drawn and radius AD drawn. The isosceles triangle in this picture is triangle BAD. And so if you take that triangle out, And then you drop the height of that isosceles triangle down. So that's the height of that isosceles triangle. The apothem is that height. So the apothem is segment AC here, which starts at the center and goes to the midpoint of one of the sides of the polygon. And then we're going to learn um, this word real quick, and then we'll come back and label what that is in the picture. So we're going to talk about what a central angle is. So a central angle of a regular polygon is an angle that's formed by two radii drawn to consecutive vertices of the polygon. So back up here, in this picture, we have radius AB, radius AD. Together they make central angle BAD. All right, so then it tells us to find the measure of each central angle. You divide 360 by the number of sides that the polygon has. All right, so... It tells me here that ABCDE is a regular pentagon inscribed inside circle F. Find each of the following angle measures. So first, let's go ahead and label A, B, C, D, and E. Let's go ahead and draw radius FA and FB. There's my radius, and so then we're going to need to draw a potham, FG. So if that is my isosceles triangle, the height of that, we're going to label that G. All right, we want to recall what we know about isosceles triangles, okay? So recall that the height of an isosceles triangle bisects the top angle and bisects the base of the triangle. All right, so now we have that isosceles triangle. So the measure of angle AFB, AFB, so they're looking for this angle. This is my central angle here. So the way I find a central angle is 360 divided by how many sides my polygon has. It's a pentagon, so that has five sides. So 360 divided by five, this is 72 degrees. Now we want the measure of angle AFG. AFG, so that's this little part. I'm going to draw that triangle, what we have here. So this is F at the top. This is G at the bottom and A over here. I know that this entire angle was 72. I'm only looking for part of it. And remember that the height bisects that top angle. So this is going to be 72 cut in half, which is 36 degrees. And now finally, when we want the measure of angle GAF, so this angle over here, or this angle now in our triangle, these two together had to be 90, since this one was 90. So to find this, it's 90 minus 36. So that is 
All right, so now we're going to look at a theorem that we're going to use a lot in this chapter. This is the theorem of the area of a regular polygon. It tells us that the area of a regular integon with side length s is one half the product of the apothem a and the perimeter p. So here's our apothem. So the area of any regular polygon is the apothem times the perimeter divided by 2. So this is one half apothem times perimeter, or the perimeter is just equal to the number of sides, the number of sides times that, right? So the number of sides times the side length. And so that's the NS right there. Okay, so let's look at a problem and how do we find the apothem. So it tells us that you are decorating the top of a table by covering it with small ceramic tiles. The table top is a regular octagon with 15 inch sides. So it's telling me that all of these sides here in this octagon are 15. And a radius of about 19.6 inches. So from here at the center, radius, this is about 19.6. What is the area you're covering? Okay. So the very first thing we want to do is find our central angle. Our central angle is going to equal 360 divided by 8, which is 45 degrees. I know that the area is going to equal 1 half my apothem. I have to find my apothem times my perimeter. My perimeter is going to be 15 times 8 because there are 8 sides and each side is 15. So that apothem... If I draw this, 19.6, so then I'm going to, in blue, this is my apothem right there. Okay. The central angle that we just found right here was 45 degrees all the way across. We just want half of that isosceles triangle. My hypotenuse is still the 19.6. I'm looking for my apothem. This side is 15 cut in half because we said it always cuts it in half the height, so that's about 7.5. This angle at the top is going to be the 45 divided by 2, which is 22.5 degrees. So now I can either do a squared plus b squared equals c squared, with that in theorem. So I could say a squared plus 7.5 squared equals 19.6 squared and solve, or I can do SOHCAHTOA. I prefer to do SOHCAHTOA. So I'm going to stand up here at this angle, 22.5. I'm looking for A, so I have my adjacent side. And I can use either of these, either the opposite or the tangent. I'm just going to use the hypotenuse. And so adjacent hypotenuse, that's cosine. So I'm going to say the cosine of 22.5 is equal to adjacent over my hypotenuse 19.6. So my apothem is 19.6 times the cosine of 22.5. So my apothem is approximately, we do not want to round here, okay, we will round to uh, four decimal places here. So here, when I type that in my calculator, I get 18.1080. Again, we round to four decimal places here. We will not round to the nearest tenth until the very end of the problem. And this is not the end of the problem, because the problem is to find the area. This was the apothem. So now I can plug my apothem back in here, 18.1080. So now to find the area of this, okay. so my area is one half my apothem, the 18.1080 times my perimeter, which was 15 times 8. I'm going to multiply all of that together, and I find that an area is approximately, this is where I can round, 1,086.5, I found area, so square inches, and so round, we'll say, um, nearest tenth, the final answer is where we can round, okay, that is extremely important. So that is how you find the apothem, it is the height of that isosceles triangle. It's using Sokotoa, 
Sometimes you might be able to use Pythagorean theorem. In this case, you could have. Um, but generally, you're only going to have one side and one angle, and you're going to be finding that missing side. And so you would have to use Socotoa. So that is a quick review of Socotoa and how to find an apothem.